Now we're going to be transitioning these greenhouses, taking off all the bird netting as well as some of the shade cloth and putting on ABS plastic over both of the greenhouses. In one of them we're going to be doing a double layer as you'll see further in the video. So now we're just gonna take our snap clamps, attach to one side, and then come over here, pull the wrinkles out. Another thing to note is as you're tightening down and getting the tension on your greenhouse, you're going to pull outwards and then down. That's gonna get the wrinkles out. As you can see over here, looking down, as I pull down, it gets the wrinkles out, and then we pull out, it brings that taut pressure. All right, so what we're doing here, we have everything tight, but we're gonna leave the bottom section for about two and a half, three feet. So you see Erica here is rolling up the tarp. The reason we're doing that is if it might be too cold, uh, we're gonna let these down, but if it's too hot, we want this, uh, these plants to breathe and not get burned out. So you can see here, we're rolling it up, and we're coming to this bar, and we're attaching it right here. That's gonna allow good airflow uh, and not burn out your plants. Let's talk about these slip crosses we have here. This was an additive measure we put in to uh, kind of harden this, this greenhouse because we had a greenhouse get taken out last winter like we talked about. So you're gonna go ahead and slide this on and then you're gonna take a three foot six section of PVC pipe. Could be different for your design. But we have a three foot six inch section right here. Uh, what the screws do after you place your fittings is it allows them not to spin. You see here the slip T, uh, the slip T, if you don't screw it into place after you have it in that direct uh, right angle, when snow comes down, it will slide it in one direction and then collapse. So after you have everything where you want it, you're gonna get uh, self-tapping screws and put these all into nice position so they can't swivel when you have wind and snow. So this greenhouse over here, we're gonna do a single layer of 11 mil plastic. It's really heavy duty, it's thick. It will last you a very, very long time. Um, I just wanna point out if you get thin plastic, it only takes one bamboo stick to rip a huge hole. Trust me, uh, Gorilla Tape and tape is a nightmare trying to patch holes. So definitely get a thick plastic if you can. This greenhouse, we're gonna be using uh, Zebo clips and do a double layer of plastic on the uh, inside, and that will help insulate it as well uh, through winter and keep it a lot more warm through the winter months. The second greenhouse, we've decided to leave the shade cloth on. It will help heat the greenhouse this winter as we put the second layer of plastic over. Um, we have about 700 plants per greenhouse. They're all daylilies, so they're gonna die off through the winter. They're not gonna look like much other than an empty pot. We do have some irises. Um, a lot of this is just gonna go dormant through the winter, so it's not gonna matter if it's a little bit darker in here. And then come spring, they'll sprout, and by June we'll have 14 to 1500 blooms. All right, one of the items we're using is the Zebo clamps. The Zebo clamps is a nice setup. It's a snap clamp design with a cable clamp design in one. The way this is gonna work, you're gonna snap on your Zebo clamp there. You're gonna take your Zebo rod. You're gonna put your plastic right here. The Zebo rod will then snap it to the fitting. Then you're creating a airspace right here. This is going to better insulate your greenhouse and it's gonna be a warmer setting inside your greenhouse. All right, now we're gonna place our Zebo clamps on here. 
These are going to be about every foot or so apart. The reason you want to put these on first is you don't have to reach around your plastic after you get it in here. So you're going to place them all the way around along all your ribs and then we're going to move forward, bring the plastic in and apply them with the rods. We have here the two inch Zebo rod. We're gonna be taking this first layer, putting it underneath, taking this, this last layer we're just doing now to kind of be a capsulating, capsulating setup here. Kind of make, make an airtight setup. Taking this, snapping it right on. Now we're gonna continue going just like that. Every section has one of these upper ones using the short two inch section rods, holding it up all the way down. All right, so we still are in that fall uh, temperatures where they're fluctuating from cold to hot. So we're still having this rolled up. That means our inside layer with the Zebo clamps are gonna be rolled up as well. So we have that flow of air. But as soon as we want to change that and come down, we can no longer use those long Zebo rods. So we're gonna be having to use these short Zebo rods. They're two inches long and they're made for situations just like this. Basically, you're gonna take your Zebo clamp it's gonna come on down here, snap on. You're gonna put down your inner layer and you're gonna use this short two inch section and they're gonna come on and snap in just like this. After you've done the Zebo clamps and the short section of rods all the way along the bottoms, you would come down here, use your snap clamp and finish your outside layer just like that. Still keeping your double layered greenhouse setup. 